Welcome back for more reptiles, archery, engineering. Ladies and gents, have fun and please enjoy. Okay, time to tell the boys. Uh, 6.41, yeah, it's late 6.44 in the morning. Not bad at all. Um, that's not bad at all, anyway, 6.44. Hey, ladies and gents, this is Scorpion here, it's 6.44 in the morning. And I'm gonna help my sister, I gotta help my little sister with stuff today, so. Yeah, it's only for the morning. N nowhere else. Uh, but yeah, it's all good. So right now my boys are still asleep. I should have just woke up. Hey, baby boy. Look at his cute little face right there. Hey, big boy. Stumpy's awake too, you can actually see his eye open. That's great. So right now, I'm just going to YouTube up around so I can watch it. Um, what can I watch today anyway? Yeah. She's gonna call everyone stinkies again. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm watching Crusader. Normal. So yeah, I got my coffee right here, but I have not found any breakfast yet. But I'm gonna fix that up after after the coffee. <clears throat> so yeah. Today's the fourth, and today's Thursday, so that's good. <clears throat> All right. So today, I am gonna help my little sister today. So, yeah, it won't take her long anyway. She's only. Again, one thing, and this one's heavy, so she needs Big Bro to lift it up onto the trailer, and that's me. So yeah, my head's puffy like a half rose. So yeah. <laughs> so right now, I gotta watch Crusader and drink my coffee. Then after coffee, cook breakfast, and then. Relax and wait for my baby sister to arrive. So, yeah. So, right now, I'll see you guys later. Till then, um, I've got things to do to, uh, right now. Like, drink my coffee, watch YouTube, then cook my own breakfast, and then help my little sister to get the thing what she wanted. So, I'll see you guys later. Alright, I am back. And it is now 13 minutes past 11 in the morning. Uh, sorry I took that long. I thought I helped my baby sister to get her things. I went to the fuel station to get some fuel for the tribute, you know, for the Mazda tribute. Because it was like on right down to the bottom line. The only thing that was making it still run is the gas, not the liquid. So I had to rush all the way back to get fuel and then come back here. So yeah. So right now I just fed the fed and watered the crickets so they can get fat and my bear dragons can eat them later today. So yeah. So right now, I am going to relax.
Uh, I'm going to relax and actually relax with my boys from the morning. Then later today we gotta go on the track, so yeah, both of my boys is beautiful. So right now I gotta drink my coffee while I'm made and I'll see you guys later. Alright ladies and gents, um, I went past the gate where it's the bushwalk. Um, it's still closed. So yeah, I can't show you what a wild bear dragon is different to a tame one. I want to show you guys, but when the gate is closed, you can't go walking into it. It goes through the archery. Let me show you guys. The gate's back there. It goes walking through the whole bush all the way to the other side on that side of the bush anyway. It's a whole bush walk. This whole thing, even archery. You can actually walk through it and have fun. Now, I got the tripod here to do more weather photos. But the thing is, it's gotta be more difficulty. All right. So right now, I got my compound bow compressor. Um, if I get the two new front strings, I can actually compress it to the point where I can actually hunt, unhook the old strings and put the new strings on. It's simple and easy. Hell yeah. But right now, let's go for a drive. Around the track once, go back up, park on top of the mountain, and do some filming of the weather. We had a thunderstorm early about 12 p.m. it started, and my sister's dog, Sash, She's a Border Collie Cross Kelpie. She was in a panic mode and she hid behind the bird cage. Plus, this thunderstorm came out at 12 p.m. So, yeah. So, right now, let's go for a drive around the whole track and just enjoy the whole thing. So, yeah. But right now, it's just quietness right here. It is absolutely beautiful. So right now, let's go for a drive. I gotta wind up the window a little bit. See it, the bushwalk it was actually closed yesterday and today, so don't know when it's open. So, when it's open, let's go for a walk, but it's closed. The council actually closes it for a reason. Don't know what is the reason, but there is a reason for it. Bad weather, or there's a snake in the bush. Not snake in my boot. <laughs> what Woody says on Toy, Toy Story. Um, snake in the bush, either like Red Belly or uh, King Brown. Those two are the only snakes that is venomous here. Even the Death Adder. The Death Adder is actually one of the things that I hate. Alright. Nice and gently, there's a cop right there. So, yeah. The copper is actually um, doing his job. Um, fuck. Well, luckily I don't drink alcohol and have drugs in my system. Oh, I'm okay. 
but it's the ones that want to hoot around and smoke wheels. It, that's the ones that he's targeting. I don't smoke wheels and I don't drift, I don't race, I'm fine. It's just only the ones that want to do that. So, I want it to just be easy, take my time, do my drive. That's all. So that copper was actually parked there for a reason. He was only for hoons. Hoons, what you can say, races. That race around the track without any um, permit and actually want to cause trouble. I don't actually race. I cruise around, I look at different things, and I enjoy my drive. was a BMW marked so that was easy the unmarked ones you have to watch out because they don't have stickers they only have tinted windows so you can't see if it's a normal person or a cop that's the thing that's the difference about the two BMWs normal no aerial no tinted windows unnormal tinted windows long area at the back and a chip that goes about 200 kilometers an hour to catch that driver so not very really good at all <laughs> I don't want to be in that one one of those situations ah oh, there's a Porsche 911 oh fuck yes and that's the original <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. You guys actually see it too. There's a lot of people on the sidewalk today. There's a guy with a camera drone. He only uses those to do landscapes and do all that kind of stuff but yet yeah. why there's so many Indians on the fucking mountain this is not India this is Australia mate uh. Alright, the reason why I go slow because I know that there's, there's another cop on this man. He parks around this corner after this one. It's the second corner. He parks in someone's driveway and waits for the perfect time to pull up. So, you have to watch out. He's a fucking bastard. He's from Sydney. You had to watch out for him. Yeah, is he in the driveway or fucking not? No, gate's closed, so he's not there. Yeah, gate's closed. He's not there today. Oh, phew. Whew. Sweat between my eyebrows, going down my nose. Um really fucking nervous about cops they are fucking tricky people some of them drive normal cars and some of them don't this storm is just fucking magnificent wow the third storm in this week Tuesday Wednesday yesterday and today is Thursday far out Okay.
and there's rain coming down so we're gonna have rain so first came thunder and then it stopped then rain so that's good yep dark stripes on the um, ground on the road hoons fucking hell I hate these fucking rednecks they got these V8 Holden Commodores that keeps smoking wheels on this track, drifting, doing bad things like throwing garbage on the ground. That's the thing I hate. This is not their track. This is Pia Brock's track. The legendary racer that was on this track since 1960. He died a couple of years ago from a, a race what he was doing in Western Australia. He died there. Where are you? Finish line is right here. I'm not gonna go across it. I'm gonna stop right here. There we go. That was some beautiful drive. The cop did not even pull me up. But that is actually good. Because I had I had enough about these cops pulling me over for no reason. They do a breath test on me and I, I don't drink alcohol. If I did, I'd be sick as a dog. I'd be puking my guts up after one sip. But I'm a non-alcoholic. I don't drink alcohol and I stay healthy and strong. So yeah. So right now, I've got my tripod. So the tripod's really good. And I got my bottle of water just in case if I get thirsty. And I filled it up with really freezing cold water. So that's good. So right now, Let's go on top of the man and have some fun and just do some filming around the clouds. So let's go there. Okay, I'm on top of Mount Parama right now. And I'm just checking my messages. Um, yeah, there's nothing up. There's nothing there. All these fucking Indians. Go back home, you fucking. Ah. Don't know where all these fucking Indians come from. Fuck them. Oh. There's so many of them. Albanese, Anthony Albanese is bringing them to the fucking country and letting them stay. They're not welcome. Only for Australians only. No fucking curry munches. I think Anthony Albanese is doing the wrong thing. He's just fucked in the head. So right now, I'm going to set up the tripod for you guys to sit on. This storm is actually... Oh, it's nice breeze out here. Nice and cool. Uh, down there, hot breeze. Up here, cool breeze. Oh, that is so nice. So yeah, um, don't know why Anthony Albanese is bringing them here. But they are not welcome here. They never will be. If Anthony Albanese is trying to bring this to new order, they, he needed he needs to try hard. So yeah, I'll see you guys up, and I'll see you guys out there. Alright, 
before we start on the film, these Indians had CO2 gas bottles while I found the ground beneath me right there. Fucking CO2 motherfuckers. Just watch the weather. Okay. That is really cool. Right across there, far out. Hey dude, that's a nice Porsche while you're driving. That's got a nice note to it. Yeah, it couldn't go fast because there was a, a cop down here about Cut. Yeah. I was on the phone, I wasn't Nope. But I was on the phone stationary, but I was still in the lane. Hmm. It's a beautiful place to take a photo, but this you've got to be off the road, haven't you? Yeah. This is some beautiful places. and come down that way. There's a dry line here.
Okay. Um, the rain is actually pouring down right now. But right now, have a look at that. The rain is pouring down that hard right down there. Well across. So, that is really good. So right now, I gotta take um, a photo of my car with track, so I got a better photo, so I'll see you guys later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am back from my drive, and I think my boys are hungry, because both of them is in separate areas, so I might feed them the crickets, but I fed them water to them, so, yeah. This tripod is free to use because I'm done with my Dying Light series. So, series two on the other ones, I'm gonna remake series one when I get my own place. And make it a little bit more better without dying all the time. Um, <laughs> believe me, there's a couple of um, episodes that has a whole lot of dying on it, so yeah. But right now, I'll let you guys watch these two while I get the crickets. And believe me, they are such a rat bag. So, let me wind up you guys. And this tripod is more taller in the neck. So you can see them higher and more bare. So let me move you guys back a bit. There you go. Alright, let me get the crickets. I think mean, that's what they are after is the crickets were fed and was for the morning. So let me put my stuff away in the drawer. Man, what a long day. Day 254. Uh, two, yeah, it's 2.53, it's 2.54 in a couple of seconds. So yeah. So right now, um, I'll let you guys watch my boys while I get their food. Because they are hungry, little boys. So let me get the crickets and be with you guys when I get back. So let me get the crickets for now. Okay, I'm back with the crickets. Now let's feed these two big buggers. Hopefully they are that hungry. Because when winter hits, it's gonna to be too cold for them and they will be in hibernation. So hibernation is sleep time for them. Man. Stand still. Yep. All right, boys, you ready? You ready for crickets? Yeah? Good boys. All right, here comes to number one. Nothing in that. Okay. Nothing in that tube, okay. Let's try one of these two. 
two crickets. Come on, Shelby. You want to chase one? Crickets doesn't want to stay in the fucking tubes today. See? <laughs> Gentle out of the tweezers, that's the way my boy. I might lift the lid off and lift one of the egg cottons. Nothing in that one. There we go. We got a feast. What if I put the egg cart in there and when the crickets fall out? That's a feast for them. But they get good feeding response. But I'm, I'm afraid I'm running out of crickets because they've been having good feed times and sometimes bad feed times. So, yeah. I might put Nelly ones in there as well. Even. Super worms, so they get a mixture of both insects. Okay, lid back on the crickets. Yeah, where the fuck are done with the tweezers? Up there, okay. <laughs> Chevy. Oh! Chevy, you got a quick out under your ass, boy, baby boy? Hey, hey, hey. Good boy. <laughs> I think that's what the, the, I think that was the one he was after. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Jesus, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 13, 18, 9, one more, 20. I'm trying to save all the milly worms and the super worms at the same time so I get both each. Stampy, calm down. I know you're super hungry, baby boy, but you don't need to rub your nose on the glass. Come on. Calm down. I know you. I know that these are yummy for you. See, he's attracted by the box. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Come on, 
Monkey boy. <laughs> I'm going to crack up laughing with this. See, that's how tame is my bear dragons. I treat them with treats and they follow my command. How about these ones? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I know it's not be, I know. The worms are coming up. Just wait for a bit, okay? Here, one for a treat. Eh? Good boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 20. You guys done? Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. <laughs> He's after the worms. That's why he keeps going back and forward, back and forward, rubbing his nose across the gra gra uh, glass. And he's super hungry. Yeah, there's 20 milli worms, 20 super worms. So yeah, so right now, I'm going to put them right here. Alright boys, bon appetit! They are my boys. So I might let you guys watch them for a little bit longer. Let's see the reactions. And I'll be back. I gotta put the crickets back into the um, laundry where they can have nice and quiet, nice and cool, so they can stay alive a little bit longer. So I'll let you guys watch them with the door open. I'll be right back.
Okay. I am back with the iced coffee. And how is my boys going? Holy shit, they finished a whole lot, didn't they? <laughs> wow. You two were super hungry, didn't you, boys? Hey, that's my boy. Oh, that's my boy. I love you too. Hey, what's this? One more. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I actually finished all that. And that is actually beautiful. Now, Tyler Nolan was wrong about my bearded dragons. They are easier to clean than snakes. Uh, my, beard, my, my boys actually heard Tyler Nolan's name. They don't like him because they, he said something wrong about them. Hard to clean. They are not hard to clean. They are easy. See so, yeah. Isn't that right? Hmm? Isn't that right? I know you're ticklish. I know you're ticklish. <laughs> I love them, my boys. I, I love them so much. So yeah, um, right now it's starting to get dark because the storm clouds. So yeah, come here, stop. Come here, you big son. So yeah, Stumpy is actually a big boy and he is actually one of the normal size, normal size big boys. And right now, you can actually see he's much bigger than Stumpy, uh, big, uh, much bigger than Chevy. Look at that. His tip of his tail is to my elbow. And that's how long he is he to the middle finger to the I know I know I'm holding it wrong I know I'm sorry thank you <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> hey <laughs> be nice to Shady be bully. Wash back. Yeah, to Chevy. It's okay, baby boy. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Am I imagining a baby boy? Come on. Calm down. He's right there. Alright. There you go. There you go. Right there. His tail reaches up to there because without the kink, he's actually normal now with a normal straight tail. When he was born, he was born, being born with a kink on the end of his tail. That's why his tail's not straight, like on the end of it. But when Stumpy bit it off, it became straight again. It's growing back bit by bit. About couple of years from now, he's going to have his t um, length of the tail again. But yeah, that's how you know, uh, well, the um, park where you walk through is actually closed still. You know, where you walk through the bush and you see wild bear dragons and, and lizards and stuff. They're like wild reptiles in the park. So that's why. So right now, let's close these two down. Uh, let's close these two up. And yeah, it's about 3.11. So right now, it is a good time to end the video right now, ladies and gents. But Friday is tomorrow. 
it will be a nice easy day for me. I love it anyway. So my bit of dragons, my boys, they are my sons. Now Stumpy, his tail to the tip of my middle finger to the elbow, he's longer than Chevy, but Chevy he's the more longer boy, but yeah, that's why. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys loved it. So if you guys got any comments at all, please leave it down below, and stay happy. So I'll see you guys on Sunday. I'm not going to archery on Saturday. I'm going to help my dad with um, the wiring. So I'm going to see. I'm going to see you guys on Sunday. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Till then, um, there's a lot of things I need to do for now, and hopefully is really good. So I'll see you guys tomorrow till then. Get over here.